argument whether as to whether that is in fact um, empowering or demeaning. Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it, and yeah. I don't. I don't look at it at all. So <laughs> there we are. Uh, Judith has rung in and said, "Your put your parents perform in a show called Radio Revels or Revels." Radio Revels, yeah. yeah oh, good. this is Max and Stella. Bring on the band. We're the nitwits of Radio Land. Hi, Max. Hi, Stella. She's got programs from the show if you want any, but I imagine <laughs> you've probably got some, have you? I think somewhere, somewhere in the closet, yes. Well, we'll get to, we'll get on to her. Did you see that the words from "I am woman" are part of a high school syllabus now? Oh yes. How yes. do you feel about that? That was one of the highlights of of, of my life. I mean, that's not something that I ever expected. And um, I'm quite proud of it. Did you, were you comfortable with being, you, you sort of turned into the face of feminism for a while, didn't you? Oh, I have always been a feminist. Mm. I, no, I wouldn't have doubted yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, when I was four or five years old. I mean, I wasn't able to articulate it, but I knew that, that women were not being treated right and, and that there was a, a lot of demeaning stuff that, that went on. And uh, but I, I was you know I was too young. My my sister tried to you know get me to explain what I felt, but I, I was I was too young to really put it into words. Mm. It's a lifetime in in the business is extremely unusual to get through it without major problems or you know alcoholism or drugs or anything. It seems to be the way of the world at the moment. How do I'm, you, how do you, I'm a teetotaler. I know. Yeah. Why? Because I grew up with too much drinking going on. And um, particularly, I mean, I was alive in the times of the six o'clock closing and, you know, the guys would line up, you know, five, six beers and then drink them straight down and then they'd go out on the footpath and vomit. And I didn't find that at all attractive. No, I can see why. Do you, what has been the highlight of your performing career? Oh, I mean, you've danced dear, with the dear, president. Dear, you've yes, done all... there's, there's, there's too many wonderful things for me to pick out one. Well, what's left to achieve? What's left to achieve? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I'm, I've, I, I didn't work for, for, for 10 years. Uh, but then I realised I was getting to be very bored. And, uh, and then, of course, my sister, you know, wanted me to sing the duet with her on her 80th birthday. And I thought, well, that was the first time I'd heard my voice on the, on the you know. And I said, I think I want to go back to doing that. And here we are. And no regrets. No. No, je ne regrette rien. <laughs> and how long will you go on for? Oh, well, until I drop, I suppose. I mean, the kids are grown and gone. They've got their own lives. And uh, it's me on my own. And uh, take every day as it comes. And loving every minute of it. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. It's, uh, I think you'll love the room. Hamer Hall, the Arts Centre, on the 5th of April, which is Saturday, 8 o'clock. I'm looking forward to it. Helen Reddy. And you'll have to sing I Am Woman, won't you? Oh, of course. Is that going to be hard? No. No, you're a performer. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank All the you. Best.